Good morning. I have been very pissed off this morning. This is what's pissing me off. They got away with it. They managed to get Joe Biden in the White House and they just got away with it. The justice system, the political system in the United States is so corrupt that they could actually do it. That's what's pissing me off. So now we have Joe Biden in the White House. This guy is admired. Well, I don't know about admired, but they, they like him. They trust him. The United Nations, they trust him. The EU, the WHO, have all these governments like him. The UK government, the Swedish, the German, the French, the Canadian. They like this guy. He's one of them. So, one of his first priorities. Well, do you think that he will care about the Americans? Is one of his first priorities. One of the first things he did was to make sure that no illegals are deported for three months. Including murderers, I suppose. <laughs> Rapists. And, you know, this is what I see every day. Uh, here in Europe, it's almost impossible to deport a guy. It doesn't matter what he did. It's because of these United Nations treaties, you see. Yeah. You know, I think that 2019, also 2018, they were terrible years for the New World Order. They had this uh, European election, which was terrible for them. Populism was on the rise, you see. What was going on in Hungary, Poland, Italy, UK, right? With the election in the UK. Yeah. The Brexit. Bolsonaro in, in Brazil. And then you had, of course, Trump, who left the Paris Agreement. He stopped funding the WHO. Yeah. Terrible. So they had to do something. And the first thing they had to do was to get one of their guys in, in the White House. And now they did it. See, it reminds me a lot about chess. I don't know if you play chess, but if you do, you know that you, you face a good opponent, you don't attack him with one or two pieces. Now, then you are toast. You put all your pieces in good positions and the major pieces in great positions, right? And then you attack. And you're going for checkmate. And this is what they are doing, of course. They now have the major players in good positions, and now they are going for the attack. So I expect, for instance, brutal censorship this year. And I expect them, them to take big steps towards the world government this year. It's all set up. They have it all. Well, they still have some work to do. You know, they have to get rid of Bolsonaro, uh, Victor Orban, Salvini, Nigel Farage. I suppose they have to get rid of him somehow, stop him, you see? But the major pieces are out there. They are in good positions. They are going for checkmate. Right. So what do we do about it? Yeah. Well, first of all, we need to remember how big this is. There's millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people who think similar to what we think. You see? Yeah. It's a big movement. Yes. And what we do, of course, is to say no to them. Yeah, We don't obey them. We don't do what they say. Of course not. We don't. We just say no. And I think this is a very important part of it. We reach out. We are bold and reach out. Because we need to get even stronger and, most importantly, united. 
That's right. So that's what we do. We reach out. Uh, I have an example from my own humble life. I want to tell you about. Some time ago, I wrote an open letter. It was about the flu and the restrictions. And I sent this letter to this association that I'm part of. It's about 300 members. So I sent it out and I got immediate response, all positive. No negative response whatsoever. I'm sure there are people in this association that don't like it. I'm sure of it, but I don't hear from them. So what did this result in? Well, I'm now more connected. See, I have now people that I would call interesting, see, that I'm talking to. They could become friends, you see. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just one example. There's a lot of things we can do. Most importantly, we should tell them, no, we don't buy this bullshit. We are not going there, you see. And then, of course, we need great leaders to support. We need people like Orban, Salvini, Nigel Farage, yes, I still like him, uh, and of course Trump. Trump is probably the best guy I've seen in many, many years. Yes, he's fantastic. He's a great leader. And he will, uh, I'm sure, he will be remembered for all the good things that he did. Yeah. Just wait. There's a saying here in Sweden, uh, the one who laughs last, laughs the best. Yeah. And we will see this. He will, re he will be remembered. I think especially for the peace that he contributed to on this planet. This is an amazing achievement as the United States President. Fantastic. And now I heard this, and I hope it's true. He has been talking about forming a party, political party. Yeah, called apparently the Patriot Party. Yeah, and you know, this is a problem, right? If I was living in the United States, I would think, you know, who do I vote for? The Republican Party was supposed to help, right? And they didn't. It's corrupt. And of course, I wouldn't vote for the Democrats. So, if Trump starts this party, that would be brilliant. I think it's a great idea. People would support him. Yeah. And these globalists would be sweating again. Yeah, a lot. So that's great. I hope it comes true. And this is all. Bye.